All right, so in building my quad, five inch quad, it's been working before. So before I had the, Maytech flight controller. So I've used this flight controller multiple times. This is good. I like it. And this is where I believe we're going to continue going. It is the Maytech H743 wing. And I've selected it for specific reasons. And this one I've banged up a bit banged up so much to where the gyroscope, it doesn't stay solid. It has a tick, right? It's almost random. Um, and from uh, what I've learned is that, you know, the gyroscope has detached from the board and is given inconsistent data values, right? So time to get a new board. So wanted to get new boards, but they no longer make the version two the V2 for this board. Now they are making the V3. The V3 is blue. Not too many features have changed really. Not that I've noticed. Um, I think it's more so internal programming. They switched out two chips which do identically the same thing. So I'm thinking they made an update to more so um, fit the current supply chain you know other you know the previous board chips they couldn't get and now they the chips that they could get is on this board um but i'm only speculating i do not know but for the most part in terms of capabilities and functionality this is supposed to be exact same but that's not the case i may be the only person experienced this issue even though i've looked online um and saw that quite a few people were having issues, not just with Maytech boards, not necessarily specifically for this board, but for many other boards uh, from the uh, Mambas, Kakutes, the uh, you know Maytech, uh, you know the the, the um, Pixhawk Cube. Um, so various boards have had this issue, and that issue is the barometer not initializing. Now for background, I am using Arju Pilot. You know, for this quad, I'm using Arju Copter. Even though in the documentation for the uh, version three, they say to use Arju Plane. So I did install Arju Plane and I have the latest and greatest Arju Pilot on here. So Mission Planner is the latest in Arju Plane version 422 is what I've installed. So I got two of the version twos, one that is installed on the quad here and the other one, I have tested both. Both. The first one, it didn't work in the beginning. It didn't work at all. Still hasn't worked and I haven't tried it again. So I figured it was just this board. So I went to the backup board and it worked prior to soldering, so I, you know, it worked. It was a bit inconsistent on the yaw and you no know, pitch. So if I moved it very fast, if I move this very fast, the pitch and roll, it would just kind of like float and it wouldn't stay constant as if I was doing this with the flight controller, but the flight controller was sitting flat on the desk. I noticed that, I didn't get a video of it, but I do remember it. Um, but they did not have a barometer issue. There was no error in starting and booting up the flight controller when I did this one the first time. When I soldered all the pins on and I hooked everything up, it did not initialize at first, but then it did initialize. It booted all the way up and then it didn't. And then it did. It was very inconsistent and random in which it would fully boot up the flight controller, no issues, then I could restart it and it wouldn't boot up, giving me an error of 
barometer drivers not initializing. So I'm going to go through that right now. So right now, I only have hooked up the ESC. So it's just the power from the ESC going to the board. So we have the V, X, and ground, as well as the uh, VCC and ground coming off of the flight controller. So this is coming off of the BEC that came with the flight controller. That is mainly to get five volts to the board to supply the five volts to any other servo lines as well as any other uh, five volt lines. Um, that's for the uh, ESC. On the VX, the BSC power as well as the ESC main power. So the battery, the main battery is coming from here, plugged into the VCC and ground or VBAT and ground. So it's hooked up just for power is what I'm getting at. No peripherals, no sen other sensors, no servos, no motors are connected. So nothing, just bare power and that's it, right? So first I'm gonna connect through USB to see what it does. And I have the USB connected here on you know pretty long standard USB C line. So let's try it. You hear the lights or you hear the noise, you see the lights. It's kind of hard to see because of the brightness. But you'll see on the left is red, in the middle is blue, on the far right is green. Now, when it first starts up, the red light will come on, then blue will flash a little bit. And then green, you know, it'll flash sometimes. It'll flash very rapidly sometimes, or it'll stay solid green sometimes. I'm not sure what that is, and it's inconsistent as to the data that shows up on the window. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect. And just trying to connect, done. And it's initializing, and that is the error every time. And it just keeps doing that over and over and over again. Config error, borrow, unable to initialize driver. I have seen that online, uh, people in different forums um, having an issue, no real resolve of the issue, um, no consistent resolve. It seems as if some people, the error goes away on its own. Some people say uh, connect the battery or it's a power issue. Um, others, the issue never went away and they just switched to a different board. So it shows up there and everything. So. The board has not booted all the way up. See, it started the boot up process and it gets stuck on the barometer, unable to initialize driver, and it can't get past it. It is just gonna error, you know, keep doing this forever, really. Um, even if I unplug USB, let's try it one more time. You see the lights, got blue flashing. Now we got a green, the green is blinking. See, now that you see the green blinking and it stopped. So it blinked for a little bit and then it stopped. And I used to think that it was because, you know, it got hung up, but it's not necessarily the case every time. And again, and I could do this all day, right? In which it'll still have the same error Config error, barometer unable to initialize. So what is going on? So potential solution. It got me thinking that, well, if this is a barometer issue, which is the onboard barometer. So we'll go to here and there's nothing wrong with the soldering job. I know I contacted support and every time you contact support with these, um, board circuit board manufacturers they always want to you know take the a-hole approach and assume that you know i did it wrong or we as a consumer just did it wrong right it's a bad solder job and 
you know, we we uh, bridge to connection or something like some of us are actually professionals. Right. We know what we're doing. We take our time not to mess everything up. So I did a pretty damn good solder job on this one. And I don't see any bridges. I don't see any issues. But you see that that component right there with the hole on top. That is the barometer. Didn't touch it. It's nowhere close to any pads. The board didn't get overheated. Just, you know, who knows what's wrong with it. But that is the onboard. And perhaps, you know, it got me thinking the onboard might have an issue. The onboard barometer may be faulty. The overall board may be okay, but the barometer itself may have a problem in which, you know, on some boards, maybe this board, maybe on this batch, it has an issue that everybody else hasn't seen with these boards, or maybe it's an issue for certain batches across many other boards that's using this same barometer. And it's a pretty common barometer as well. I've seen on pretty, uh, uh, a lot of boards. So that's on the underside. So you can't really see it on top. It's on the underside of this flight controller. So the thought is what happens if I connect an external barometer. So we have here something that I had in my garage. I mean, literally, this was just sitting in my garage from a project that I did two years ago. And it was just sitting on the desk, not being used. It sat there, you know, possibly collecting dust. It is the BME 280. Now, the recommendation for RG Pilot when it comes to um, barometers it recommends the BMP, BMP, uh, as in uh, play or as in paper, um, BMP 280. And this is the BME 280. The only difference is this one also includes humidity. The BMP is just pressure and just temperature, no humidity. This one has all three. So the protocol and communication is still the same. This is a I squared C connection by Adafruit. And being that it's an I squared C connection, I know from experience that I squared C is very sensitive. I mean, very sensitive to interference. And that's interference from the laptop, just, you know, electromagnetic, just the power waves. Then there's the Wi-Fi. There's uh, the phone that may have something. Um, so there's a lot of, you know, interference that's around here. So I do know from experience from other projects that I squared C picks up a lot of interference. So shielding the wire with a copper, copper tape, I shielded the wire and grounding it. So it's not a proper shield unless it's grounded. So I know that from experience and it actually worked. Uh, you see for the, uh, for the GPS, for those having GPS issues of it taking very long time for the GPS to connect, well, shielding the wire and grounding it solved my issue. As well as another issue working with Arduinos and I squared C, it was just giving bad values um, it wouldn't work at all until I found out shield the wires and ground on I, I squared C connections. All good. So we're going to use this and replace the onboard, the onboard barometer. And all we have to do is it came with a connector. So I'm going to connect it. Well, you know what? I don't like the hot swap, so we're gonna disconnect. Disconnect. Then we're gonna unplug. And we're going to connect this external barometer. I believe it's in. It's hard to tell. 
Is it in? Yes. All right. It's in as far as it's going to go. So I'm going to show something. I'm not going to plug in ground just because, you know, for experimentation purposes. And all I did was plug in the barometer, shield it, but not ground it. I'm not going to touch it. I'm just going to leave it be. Let it hang out here. Not touching anything. And we are just going to, you know, redo this test. And just plug it right back in. light green solid green flashing rapid and now the green light staying on but it's flashing All right so we're going to connect and well look at that you know the fact that it says disarm it has loaded up it has fully booted. And all I added was an external barometer. You know, I can move it around. This me, that is me moving. All right? I do know, see how it is flat on the desk? I didn't really move it much, but now it's crooked. So the gyro, the gyroscope or the accelerometer is off, as well as the barometer is off as well. Uh, to be expected, right? It's been sitting for a while. It may need to be calibrated to the correct values, but it's working. It has booted up, right? Now it's self-leveled. It took a little bit of time to correct itself, right? So now I can lift it up, nose down, roll, right? And you'll see that the, uh, the uh, yaw is staying pretty steady. Move it a little bit, move it a little bit the other way. All right. And again, like I didn't lean it, I didn't roll it, but it looks like it's rolling. So I'm not sure what that is. And again, I didn't do anything else to the board besides add an external barometer. And because of adding an external barometer, it got rid of the uh, config error barometer not initializing error so I never get that anymore so it looks like you know an external barometer is the solution to that config error something to look into now I'm gonna go well why didn't I plug in the ground right when that shielded wire is supposed to be grounded if it's gonna act like shield but for some reason I'm going to go ahead and disconnect my plug. Now, in order to connect the ground, because I don't think the USB connects the ground to every or connects the pins to ground. Only the USB is on ground. I could be wrong, but let's try it. So I'm going to connect this to the closest ground pin which is there, you see it, ground in front. It's all the way plugged in. All right, so all, that's all I did was plug it in. Didn't move anything. I think I bumped it a little bit, but shouldn't be an issue. So let's go ahead and repeat the process. Plug it in. No, lights blinking, blue, now green solid and rapid and a consistent green flash. Now let's go ahead and connect. Wow, look at that. This thing made me a liar. Usually it won't do it. Before, or you know, not usually, it would be 50-50. Sometimes it'll work, sometimes it doesn't. But this time it actually worked with the ground in it. So it connected to ground with just USB. Now, we still don't have the error. The error has been resolved, you know? So we can keep up with this. 
the next experiment I'm going to do right now, which would be the final thing, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect. I am going to unplug. Now I'm going to plug in the battery. Now the battery is going to send, you know, battery power through the ESC to VBAT on the board as well as VX on the board. I'm thinking, you know, with the battery connected, all of the grounds are now on the negative, on the ground to the battery, as well as the uh, proper battery power, as well as the VX, which is the five volt power, rail power, all of the power is now supplied to the board. And we're using a 4S battery, right? So it is 4S. Um, I don't think it's fully charged, but it's definitely not uh, fully discharged. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to first, since everything is already connected, power's on power, ground is on ground. I didn't connect any other sensors. As you see, there's no motors connected. The ESC motors are not connected. There's no other sensors. It is only the barometer with the shield of wire connected to ground. And I'm going to first connect in power. Wait for it to get the green light. We got green, flash, flash. And I'm going to connect the USB. Bling, bling, bling on Windows. And I'm going to connect. And you can see where the thing is, is rolling, it's flipping, it's flipping out. And I haven't done anything to it. But I saw this the first time. And now it's upside down and it's spinning around, but it is not giving the error anymore. There's no, there's no uh, barometer error. There's no config error anymore, right? So again, the solution, the gyroscope and the accelerometer, there's obviously a serious issue. So again, with these boards, I had the same issue with version two, right? But that was after a few bangs, you know, after a few crashes, then the gyro was acting up. Before we even hook up the gyro, it's already messing up. Before we can even get a chance to test the board, the barometer is already messed up. So it's a board issue. All issues are leading to the components on the board, especially if I can replace it on an external component. This external component that's been sitting in my garage for two years still works. Then it's the component that's on the board that was the initial issue. And now I've done nothing. I haven't crashed it. This thing has barely been off the desk. Like I've barely tilted it more than that just to see if it moves, just to see if it reacts to the movement. And, you know, sure enough, even the gyro and the accelerometer is messed up. So I needed to do this long video um, in order to show, one, the problem that a lot of people seem to not understand what's going on or, you know, a lot of people don't believe that that is an error or a problem but it is, but at least I found a solution as well as a method to figuring out what exactly is wrong. And what is wrong is a bad board. It came bad. The component on it is bad. Not only the barometer, but potentially the accelerometer and gyroscope as well. So it could be a build quality issue. It could be just a component issue. I don't know. Either way, these things are a lot of money. And to be wasting that money on a bad board, that's a problem. That's why this video is needed and that's why it's long. Thank you for your time. I'm hoping I helped everybody. So I've seen quite a few people having this issue. Um, so I'm hoping I can help you guys out. Uh, which go ahead and attach an external barometer 
I squared C, make sure you make sure you shield and ground all of your I squared C connections and then test it from there and see what you get. All right. Talk to y'all later. Peace.